Hey there, everyone. It's Laurel Beard. I'm back from Creativation, recovering slowly. <laughs> and I've got a video today. I wanted to show you the hot new products from Creativation 2019 that I saw myself. So I'm just going to go company by company and just lay it out there for you. Now, I very likely could have missed some booths. Uh, it was super crowded. I was super busy wandering around. <laughs> but this is what I saw that just immediately caught my eye. Let's first go with Tonic and Nuvo. I did some demoing in their booth, so I really got to see uh, some up close and personal things they're releasing. We have Stone Drops and Dream Drops, and they're both super cool. And Dream Drops on black cardstock is woohoo! Oh my gosh. Uh, we have Glacier Paste, and I borrowed this footage from Hedgehog Hollow with their permission. This is the Glacier Paste. It is gorgeous. It comes in beautiful colors. And then they have this new Sparkle Spray. Oh, the mica powder it's mixed with. You are going to get an unbelievable shine with these products every single time. And this spatula. It is silicone. It bends. It is all my other spatulas bye bye because i'm going to stock up on those spatulas because they are just awesome and last but not least the luggage you heard me luggage i saw it in their booth and i said i need to take this luggage out for a spin so i drug it around the the showroom floor and i got stopped i can't tell you how many times it was so pretty and i had fun spinning it all over the place so let's move on to the next booth that's thermoweb love thermoweb love their foiling but they've got this flocking transfer paper. Do you guys remember that flocking powder from way back when? It was a powder and it just got all over the place. Well, they've got that in a sheet, man. It is beautiful. I went and touched all those flocking samples and those are coming to my house, let me tell you. They were so soft. I was petting all the samples and they come in really pretty colors. Next up is Deco Foil New Metallics Gel. Now this is a great way to add shine and dimension to your project with no heat needed. Comes in pure gold, champagne mist, that's beautiful, and aged copper. Oh yeah. We also have some pixie spray, which I think is so cute. It's a low tack spray for your stencil. So you spray it on the back and then you place your stencil down. It'll keep your stencil in place, but it's very low tack, so easy to clean up. Next up, we have some new goodies from Gina K and Thermoweb. This is Glitz Glitter Gel. I saw her demo it, and it's straight up glitter mixed in with glue. That's it. Two things in the jar, and you get some beautiful shiny things. She also has a new foil, Glismerizing Gold. Ooh. And she has a new line of stamp and stencil. So you've got your stamp, your die, and your stencils. I know. So she's got the stamp, the stencil, the die, and the foil all works together all one big happy family love it also uh, brutus monroe has a couple of new things launching to thermoweb we've got more designer toner sheets with his signature designs and he also has some new transfer foil sheets as well added to the collection we are going to bounce on over to we are memory keepers here uh, this is super popular i heard all about it so i took a look at the demo of the foil quill now, this is kind of the look that you get. And at first I was like, what is this? So it actually comes with these three tips that you need for any of your uh, cutting machines, the Cricut, the Brother, whatever the standard cutting machines are, you have a tip for it. And you load it into the machine with the design plugged in and look at this beautiful <laughs> result that you get. Are you serious? I love it and that's coming to my house for sure. They also have a new line of cart organization that I'm pretty sure will work for the IKEA Razcogs. I know. Pop it on over to Ranger now. So they've got a new line of pearlescent alcohol inks here. And they were just pretty and they come individually or you can get them in three packs. So they're called alcohol pearls. There also is a new line of Distress Oxide sprays, and I was able to watch Tim demo some of it. He did just some spraying onto some paper with the oxides, but he also mixed the uh, Distress Spray Oxides with the Distress Ink sprays. <laughs> <laughs> together and got some beautiful results as well. So you can mix and match all your oxides and your inks together. He also has some new paper. So there's a matte black and then there's a silver coming in. All this that will work with your alcohol ink. So this is brushed silver as well as silver sparkle. Ooh, I'm going to be digging that black for sure. That black is coming to me. 
This is the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. Notice the punny title. She wanted to create something to keep all her stuff. She wants it to stay put. So this is 12 by 12. It's magnetic. The front has grid lines. The back is solid. It comes with four magnets. She actually designed those magnets. She said that the things that she wanted was she wanted them to be cute. She wanted them not to stick together and she wanted them not to take your fingers off. And so this is what she's achieved. And it's designed to kind of keep all your bits and everything that you're working on together. You can use it as a magnetic surface. She also uses the backside to store things as well. So this is definitely a product that will help you keep your things in place. <laughs> Next up we're going to move on to Wow Embossing Powder. They have a new dual speed heat tool available. I'm super excited about this and it's white and I just think it's so cute. They also have a new embossing pad and refills and two new colors to add to their color blend line which I love. Isn't that gorgeous? Just stop and ooh and on that for a second. The detail of that line is unbelievable. Okay, moving on to spell binders. First of all, I admit I live under a rock because I was not familiar with the Jane Davenport line. Uh, she's had a line of all kinds of things out in the past, but now she's introducing a new line called Making Faces. And it's kind of like makeup for artists. So she's got all these new pastels and all these new palettes and all these new paints and all this stuff that's kind of meant to uh, emulate foundation and, and eyeshadow and lipstick. And it's just... <laughs> It's just so much fun. I just sat there and stared at her because I was like, ooh, this is so cool. Now we have a line from P.A. Scribe. It's Paul Antonio, who's a calligrapher for the Queen of England, by the way. No joke. And he did my name. And I'm going to put it in a safety deposit box or something because it's gorgeous. But look at him and how he does his calligraphy. But he has a whole line that works with the Glimmer Hot Foil system so you can get your own looks like this. I mean, oh, good Lord. What a talent he has my goodness. Moving on to all to new. When I walked into the booth, I immediately gravitated toward this. I'm like, what is this? And these are metallic pan watercolors that are releasing soon. Look at how this pops off that black cardstock. Can you even? They're also going to release some embossing paste. I'm not sure the dates of the release of this stuff, but it's coming soon. And they're going to have new inks, right? that are gonna pop off that paper. Look at that gold. So you almost have like a gold gold, a rich gold, then a copper gold. And this die cut sticker washi tape, can you even? All you do is unwrap it from the roll, cut where you want and stick it on there. So it's like die cut stickers to go with their washi tape line. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Next up is Lawn Fawn and their Magic Picture Changer die. I thought this was so cute and so fun to do for anyone, but especially to do with my daughter. So it actually comes with a die cut and then you can get an add-on if you want to. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? So you can use it with any stamps that you have. Now we have Waffle Flower Crafts, and this is the water media mat. It's white, it's silicone, it's heat resistant, and there's also markings on there. So there's like a center mark and markings for filmers. So they are, there's like a marking to stay in frame for YouTube and Instagram. So just a little helpful cheat so you're not kind of wandering off the screen like I tend to do. Uh, you can also use, like create your own drops and create your water swatches in the little palettes that they have up there at the top. And then it just wipes clean. That's a microfiber cloth with water on it. So I just think that's super cute. This is coming out in March. And I will have a detailed video on this because I do have this mat in hand. Next up is Catherine Pooler. I kind of grabbed these images from Ellen Hudson. This bike stamp and die was a huge hit as well as some gorgeous background stamps that are coming to the shop in February. So there's a whole great new fun line consisting of background stamps and dies. You're not going to want to miss it. We've got Pink Fresh Studio who I just think has the coolest, cleanest stamps. And these liquid watercolors are amazing. You can create some gorgeous things with them. But they also displayed their upcoming release and it's definitely something to watch out for. But they have a whole great line of stamps and dies. Now the Stamp Market is a company that's somewhat new to me. So I was just blown away by their booth. This is the box die. So that little die down in the left-hand corner can create four different kind of boxes. I was just like, whoa, so that's coming out soon. And then I just took a scroll through the rest of their stamps and I was just blown away by all of their designs. They're just like perfect for if you're a clean and simple artist like me, or if you like to go above and beyond, I think it works with everything, but I just love their booth, their layout. Uh, Amy, the owner is amazing. So I'm definitely keeping an eye out for this line. 
Now this is a company I saw when I was walking through the product showcase area. This is Stamplistic, and they actually had a line of embossing dust. It's like embossing powders, but they call it embossing dust, but it's laced with black. So she said every time you heat emboss, you're gonna get a different look. Now I didn't have my, a chance to play with it myself, but I did ask for a couple of samples, so they're sending it to me and I'm playing with it, but I was totally drawn to that. Having that black mixed in with that color and getting a different look every time seems super cool to me. Now last on my list, but certainly not least, is Concord and Ninth. They always have such innovative dies and stamps, and this time they've created a turnabout jig that you can use over and over again, so no more drawing uh, on your stamp and creating your own jigs. They also have turnabout stencils that I wasn't aware of, and then I got a look at their upcoming release for February, which of course is gonna knock your socks off because there's always something without fail in every single release that I just, my mouth just drops, I'm like, well, you can't see me, but I'm like, really? Uh, so couldn't end my video without giving a shout out to Concord Knight. So there are, that's what I saw. That's what I saw that captured my attention immediately. I'm sure there's a bunch more. I'm going to continue to keep an eye out because I'm sure I missed quite a few things. But I had a great time. I haven't been to Creativation, oh gosh, in like eight years. My son was five. So I had a good time and uh, saw a lot of great things and ran into a lot of friends and then met new friends and then actually connected with people that I feel like I've known my whole life, but it's all been an internet uh, relationship. So I got to meet them face to face as well. So it's been super fun. And uh, yeah, so keep an eye out. If any of these products that I mentioned are available right now, I will link them below in the description, but a lot of things that you see at Creativation aren't coming out for a month or two. So I'll be sure to keep everything updated. YouTube channel, make sure you're following my Facebook page, my Instagram. I'm pretty active over there with a the little Insta stories. Uh, so all that's linked below. And thanks so much for watching my video and I'll see you next time.